But let me start with Skia. So what is Skia? Why Skia? Skia is a very powerful library for 2D. It has high performance, good rendering, are unknown to us and, and to our libraries. And it's becoming the new foundation for FireMonkey. So the relevance of Skia is not just an additional feature, but it's really a foundation work we are doing for the future of the library. Again, it's an open source library. It's backed by some big companies. It's the engine behind Flutter, but also Google Chrome, among many other products. And you can read on skia.org all of the relevant information about the library. How do we leverage Skia? We integrate in 12.0 out of the box, so everything is ready for you. Uh, Skia for Delphi, which is a cross-platform 2D library, which provides the ability of Skia, the APIs of Skia to Delphi. This is an open source project. We have worked extensively with the developers of the project, providing not only the core features of Skia for Delphi, but we are also adding additional capabilities on top of it, which are unique to Rust Studio 12.0. I could go through all of the features in Skia, all of the capabilities, the graphic formats. I won't do it. There's really too much to go into each of these elements. But the main point is this become automatically available as part of FireMonkey. So there isn't much you have to do to enable this large amount of extensions to your existing FireMonkey applications. Now, how do you use Kia and Raw Studio? There are multiple ways of doing it. It depends on what we're looking for. One option, which is probably not the most common one I would expect, is just using the Kia API. The API is available through a unit. This is a small example. You can really just start coding against the Kia API. There are other and easier ways to leverage Kia in a Rust Studio application. The first and the easiest one is through specific UI controls that you can use and which provide extensive features that are not found in the core platform controls. A very good example is the label, which is depicted here. As you can see, the label is a bit more than a label. It has multiple line of text or multiple text elements. Each of them has its own coloring capabilities, spacing, you can specify letter spacing and some very, very advanced text rendering elements. The third way to use Kia in Rust Studio is just to say, hey, use Kia for the styled UI controls. As you know, FireMonkey primarily uses styled controls, to turn on the global use Kia setting in FireMonkey. So it's one operation, one very sim simple thing you have to do in your code and your application can move from the existing implementation in terms of rendering, which could be Metal, could be DirectX, could be OpenGL, towards using Skia with one global setting. It's really straightforward to move up an application from a different engine for rendering to Skia. There is another level of usage that's also interesting, which is codecs for image controls and image formats. In this case, there is really nothing you have to do. Skia enables these new image encodings for the existing VCL and FireMonkey image controls. So you don't need to use a specific the UI controls in Skia are available for both platforms. And this is a bit more information about those controls. Animated image, label, paint box, animated paint box, and SVG. Let me show an actual example of some of the additional controls beside the label that I was displaying earlier. The animated image control can display animations in a number of formats. You can see Lottie, you can see Telegram stickers, you can see animated GIF, and animated webp the paint box allows you to do freehand painting and allows you to display very advanced graphic including for example gradients and the svg as the name implies allows you to display svg images and notice that these controls the animated image the image and so forth they are all available in vcl beside firemark 
So as a summary, Skia support in Farmonkey is available for both C++ Builder and Delphi. It's available for Farmonkey and also for VCL. It leverages the Skia for Delphi open source project. But the other thing I want to point out, it includes additional capabilities not in the open source project, which are very relevant. Vulkan support, it's a different graphic engine that is available on Android. So using Skia with Vulkan should provide a much better experience than just using OpenGLS. The Skia shading language for effects and filters is also available as a unique feature in the Rust Studio 12.0. The WebP encoder, which I showed earlier, and the ability to natively print for Windows and do PDF printing for all platforms. So you can take a form and render as a PDF or take content and paint as you would paint on the screen on a PDF surface and then generate a PDF file, which could be handy to support some sort of printing on mobile. Uh, finally, we are also using Skia support for the new icon and splash wizard that was demonstrated mm -hmm. earlier.